What's up, really, Monty? That is my name, is Karamia. Welcome back to Honkai Star Ale. This looks cool. I've done this in the last episode already, though. I need to do so again. And uh, bonk. That's part of them. Answers. Bonk. Let's test your knowledge. Zero points. Next. Yay. Time to twirl. All right, time to continue. Uh, uh, did you see that? I think something's moving. Cool. Hmm. It's just an ordinary snowdrift. Are you sure you're not seeing things? Of course not. My eyesight's perfect. Come on, let's take a closer look. Oh. That's a uh, mound. Artificial. Hey, get out of there or you'll shiver to death. Hmm. Holding your breath won't help. I got this, March. Huh. Uh, someone's got their head stuck in the sand. Or... The snow in this case. Hmm. They just need a helping hand. Hmm. Ouch! Huh? My fine fellow, was that really necessary? What the Is hell? crawling around in the snow a crime these days? I mean, <laughs> surely, it doesn't warrant a spearing. <laughs> Why is he of all people hiding in snow? Oh, I see. But then again, how can I blame you? I mean, I caught you off guard. It, it had to happen. You could even say I deserved it, huh? Besides, I made a gallant group of new friends as a result. <laughs> huh? Is Captain Jappard around? Uh, he, he's an old buddy of mine. Who? Wait. You're not Silvermane Guards? Well, why didn't you say so? Turns out we're on the same side after all. Huh? Pleasure to meet you. The name's Sampo Koski. Nice name. And I am Scout and Meow. Excellent. I'll remember the name. Never thought I'd run into friends from the same line of work out here in this frozen wasteland. <sighs> Business is bad these days, but fear not. Sampo Koski isn't interested in hoarding. There's more than enough treasure to go around, so let's get rich together. <laughs> Yay. Say, why don't we join forces? I have reliable intel the main strength of the Silvermane Guards is being deployed to the front line. This is a golden opportunity. Okay. The front line. Come now, friends. I can understand the mistrust, but there's no need for the charade. Then again, I know the rules. Vigilance is the name of the game in our profession. It's my fault for letting my enthusiasm and sincerity get the better of me. Anyway, a meeting like this has to have been written in the stars. Ask me anything you like. I won't skimp on the details. Still make it snappy. You're never more than 10 feet from a silver main guard. Okay. Is there a... S why are you hiding in the snow? Me? You guys scared me to death. There I was, looking for relics to sell, when all of a sudden you came stomping over. I thought the Silvermane guards were paying me a visit. Hmm. Seriously, though? Try treading a little lighter next time, huh? If you run into the guards, they won't hide in the snowdrift, and you'll be in a cell before you know it. Hmm. Is there a settlement nearby? Settlement? What a literary turn of phrase. Why, there's only one place in this world where the living still reside. Our beloved Bellabog. The further away you get, the dicier things become. The city of preservation. The towering citadel. Humanity's last bastion against the eternal freeze. It may sound a bit over the top, but those names are grounded in truth. 
The only place humans can eke out an existence is behind those impregnable walls. Hmm. I have no idea who these Silverman guards even are. You really don't know? The Silverman guards are Bellabog soldiers, enforcers, and police. Let's just say they're not the most flexible of people. And they like paying visits to folks in our line of work. Uh oh. Seems like you guys really are new to the business. <laughs> to be young and naive again. How about this? As a senior in the field, which I'm sure you don't mind me saying, I'll give you some free guidance. Okay. There are ways of doing things in this profession, and you better get familiar with them. Moving in the shadows, finding the goods, pricing your stock, hiding from the guards. There's an art to all of it. Hmm. No need. Why don't you just take us to the city? We don't really know the way. A wimp boy, a wimp boy, a wimp boy. The city? Already? They haven't even started trading yet. Well, showing you the way is easy enough, Missy, but it would cost. <laughs> but, but it would be my pleasure. Kindness is Sampo Kosky's middle name. Follow me, friends, and uh, keep quiet. We don't want to be spotted by the guards. We'll kill all the guards. <laughs> so why were you hiding from the Silvermane guards? Artifact. Yeah, I was just storing a few relics away from prying eyes. Nothing serious. If it weren't for the uncompromising nature of our civil service, there'd be no need for secrecy. So where about you guys from anyway? I don't mean to pry or anything. I just care about my friends. No pressure. Hell. Rule number seven, never leave a footprint. I have my own special technique called invisible snow walking. Helps me throw off pursuers in no, no time. Huh? Who are they? Mm. Uh, you remember the Silvermane guards I mentioned? That's them. Oh. Help me, old friends. I don't want to be caught. Mm. It's the suspect and his accomplices. Arrest them. What? Let's kill people. I'm, Where do you think you're? I'm going to kill you both. You. You're going to get tested. Never stop thinking. You passed. Now time to smack you. Bonk. How about this? You're dead. Commencing research. Die. Bonk. What are you looking at? Get bonked. This is gonna hurt. And above that. Oh, three more. Okay. Hmm. I shall give you a test. Let's test your knowledge. You passed. Well done. Get bonked. Preparing for collection. Bonk. Ha. Time to twirl. Okay, time to bonk you. I won't Ow, my face. Mediocre. Hmm. Hey, you're gonna get tested. Bonk. Never stop thinking. Okay, want a ta giant tower? Here you go. Per Here's a tower. Knowledge is the measure of all things. It reveals truth and falsehood. Bonk. And you're gonna get smacked. Better up. Yay. Uh Who he? Hmm. Oh, he's handsome. I, I don't know. Hard land out. Cap 
captain of the Silver Main Guards order you to relinquish your futile resistance? Ugh, that Sambo Chishal. Wait till I get my hands on him. Suspect, relinquish your resistance. Oh. So I'm a criminal, huh? Uh, forget Sampo. Wait until I get my hands on you. You're getting tested. Let's test your knowledge. Okay, time to bonk your buff. Bonk. This? Time to twirl. <clears throat> Commencing research. Bonk. Excuse me, coming through. Bonk. Stay focused. Ah. Glory. Get tested. Never stop thinking. Failure. failure. Get out. You're a failure. Let's go. Bonk. Bonk. Relax, deep breaths. Ew. Bonk. This is gonna hurt. I'll give you a test. Let's test your knowledge. And bonk. Fuck. And die. Bonk. You must be honored to me. Bonk. In the name of preservation. Ah. Uh. And the prime suspect, the one with the blue hair. Who's that? Apologies, Captain. We lost him during the pursuit. We can't find his footprints. Hmm. No matter. We have his accomplices. He'll be close by, plotting his next move. Okay. You might be waiting longer than you think. As in forever. Hmm. I'm not trying to talk our way out of this, but we're not friends with that scoundrel. Did you see how fast he ditched us? Hmm. We rescued him from the snow out of the kindness of our hearts. We had no idea he might be using us to get past you. Are you really dumb enough to fall for his? I'm a captain, not an adjudication panel. As a Bellabog citizen, you have the right to defend yourself, but that can only take place under the scrutiny of the architects, not now. Take them away. Oh. <sighs> Show him the photos, March. Photos? Ah, oh, you're a genius! Great idea! <sighs> You've probably never seen what your planet looks like, right? I took this one! Behold! Yarilo 6! <laughs> you mean to say that this white ball? That's here? <laughs> That's our home? How can that... Huh. Hmm. It is said that a long time ago, strange visitors from beyond the sky would visit us here. But that after the eternal freeze, the blizzards made passage impossible. And Bellabog would cease to witness such arrivals. Huh. But these people are... This decision is beyond us. If what they say is true, then only the Supreme Guardian may decide their fate. Our job is to present them before her. Nothing more. Mm -hmm. Outsiders, follow me. Bellabog lies beyond this blizzard. Fine. Welcome to Bellabog, mm -hmm. the city of preservation. Where is that? I can't see. Oh, that thing. That's cool.
Wait, there's no storm here. How can that be? This looks like France, I think. Hey, it feels like it got a bit warmer. Hmm. That's because you're in Bellabog, the last bastion of humanity. Last bastion? Hmm. <laughs> Seven hundred years ago, monsters from beyond the sky set the world ablaze. The land was turned to scorched earth, with raging infernos and billowing towers of smoke stretching beyond the horizon. Hmm. In the midst of the conflict, the eternal freeze descended without warning. Suddenly, sweeping winds brought blizzards which buried the invading legion. Bellabog was all that remained. Hmm. The steadfast architects built this city. Under the protection of Klepoth, the preservation, Bellabog remains forever warm in the face of unrelenting cold. Hmm. He sure saying some weird stuff. No, he isn't. Marked change in tone. It sounds like he's quoting from a historical record. Hmm. Uh huh. So why is he telling us all this? So we'd understand, obviously. He wanted to know. Hmm. Uh You are an idiot, March 7th. Ooh, ever winter night. Cool. Can I bonk? Saw strange creatures outside the city. They must have come from a tear in corroded space. A fragmento, correct? Oh. How are you? That's right. Out there in the blizzard, there are still many threats, including the monsters you saw. The Silver Main Guards are continuously engaged with the enemy, and I'm afraid the situation is bleak. Cool. After your meeting with the Supreme Guardian, I would like to consult you on this matter. We're lacking in intel. Hmm? We're here. Oh, can we walk up the stairs then? This is Klepoth Fort, the heart of Bellabog and headquarters of the architects. Cool. The architects? The saviors of humanity. Long before the arrival of the Eternal Freeze, the architects braved the doubts and derision of the people, never wavering from their construction of its defenses. History has proven that their decision was the correct one. Mm. The architects named this fortress after Klepoth, Eon of Preservation. Under their direction, humanity has withstood external enemy attacks and held off the eternal freeze. That's awesome. Even today, we resist the Fragmentum's corrosion. Fragmentum, Fragmentum, Fragmentum is so cool. This fortress is also the residence of the Supreme Guardian. Cool. The Supreme Guardian? Who the fuck is that? The leader of Bellabog. Elected and appointed by the architects. The Supreme Guardians have watched over this city for generations, sheltering the people from harm. <gasps> Never would have guessed. The current guardian is Madame Kakolia Rand. <laughs> Every major strategic decision is issued by her. <laughs> Kakolia. Cuckoo. Whoa, she sounds like a big deal. Oh, she doesn't. She sounds absolutely pathetic. I will now bring you to see Madame Kakolia. Please, have your words at the ready. Her time is precious, so she prefers concise communication. Okay, can I have a cup of hot cocoa while I'm at it? Uh, we're gonna see her right now? Can I at least find a place to freshen up first? Let's not Good waste luck. time. No one Fuck. will notice. I've dispatched a messenger to send word. <laughs> Madame Kokolia will be aware of your arrival. Come with me. Mm. I hate that the dialogue options. But that's a meaningless sacrifice. Come How like can that. you? Hello. <clears throat> you may leave, Branya. Visitors have arrived. Hello. <sighs> yes, please go away, Bro Bronya. Yes. Mother.
Madam Guardian, I have brought three outsiders to see you. Mm -hmm. The messenger informed me. Well done, Jepard. You may leave. Messenger? What messenger? Welcome, visitors from beyond the Eternal Freeze. Or perhaps I should say, from beyond the sky. No? Mm hmm. <laughs> I am Kakolia Rand, Belabog's supreme guardian. I would be grateful if you could tell me why you have come. So you believe we come from beyond the sky? Do you wish me to doubt it? Or perhaps you're not confident in that identity yourself? <laughs> no, I do not doubt it. I can see that you are not from this world. Got I. The architects remember the history well, else we should forget it. I know that in the distant past, before the Eternal Freeze descended or the Legion invaded, this world was once prosperous beyond measure. Mm -hmm. An eon connected our planet to other worlds, and we discovered the endless possibilities of the boundless universe. We also came to know of Klopoth, the Amber Lord. Under their attentive gaze, we built the city walls. Cool. So do not be surprised. For 700 years, the Architects have received no further communication from the stars. But I knew of your existence. Tell me why you have come. Hmm. We have come to trailblaze this planet. Uh, do you think anyone's gonna know what you're talking about? <sighs> we came here for something known as a Stellaron. Hmm. A Stellaron? Hmm. Objects that fell from the blue on separate worlds. Their appearance spelled disaster. Many of the planets we visited have suffered their effects. Oh? You mentioned invasion by the Antimatter Legion. Soon after their arrival, this planet suffered the Eternal Freeze. At the same time, the phenomenon known as Fragmentum Space Corrosion began to occur. Correct? Hmm. Correct. Hmm. What? Damn it! Which is why the Antimatter Legion and Stellarons often show up together. Worlds seeded with Stellarons give birth to Fragmentums. I As hate... For the Eternal Freeze, it must have been a product of the Stellaron, unique to the environment of your world. I absolutely hate when dialogue shows up during a... I hate that there's no warning for dialogue showing up, so I have to wait for a couple seconds. You can see us as kind-hearted interstellar public servants, lending a helping hand to any world affected by a Stellaron. Okay. <laughs> Your analysis of our current circumstances is clear. We have indeed suffered the disasters you speak of. Some of which prove vexatious to us even today. But why should you care? Because we can. Even if this Stellaron you speak of did bring about disaster, I fail to see its connection to you. I don't believe that anyone would go to such lengths to help a world unrelated to them. Unless they had something to gain. You're right. Our reason for coming here is not purely selfless. If we don't seal the Stellaron, we cannot leave this planet. Hmm. Please help us locate the Stellaron. If we can get rid of it, your world will be safer too. Hmm. You know how to seal the Stellaron. Yeah. We have the relevant means. Hmm. Very well, I believe you. If our present situation is truly the result of this so-called Stellaron, then your arrival is the hope that Bellabog has waited 700 years for. I am willing to assist you in any way possible to help you locate the Stellaron. Yay. It's getting late, and you must be tired. I will arrange for you to stay in our most comfortable hotel. Rest there and get a good night's sleep. 
Fine. Tomorrow at noon, I will dispatch someone to escort you here. And we can discuss this urgent matter in greater detail. Yay. We'd like to take a look around. But of course. You are Bellabog's mm. honored guests, and have the highest privileges afforded to you. Mm. I too need some time. I will go over our records for anything that may be connected to Stellarons. Please excuse me for not escorting you further. Thank you. Hmm? What was that? Mm -hmm. Of course, I understand. I do not trust her at all. Do not worry. I have a way. Hmm. I don't trust her at all anymore. It seems that the Supreme Guardian holds you in high regard. I have received orders that your movements are no longer to be restricted. Yay. She is very reasonable. You know, I didn't think things were gonna go that smoothly. Hmm. <laughs> I'm afraid I still have duties to attend to. I must return to my post. I hope you enjoy your stay in Bellabog. We will. Uh, wait! Can you recommend some sites? It's not that late. We want to take a look around. Yes, we do. Well, I'd say that Golden Theater and the History Museum are both worth a look. However, you'd need a pass to get into the museum. Ah, oh, shit. I recommend you visit Everwinter Monument first. It's Bellabog's most symbolic landmark. Oh, that looks awesome. I know what I'm taking as this thumbnail. And if you enjoy music, you could head to Neverwinter Workshop. You can sometimes catch an outdoor performance there. The artist is... You'll see. Oh, and if you're staying at Goethe Hotel, please avoid the alley that runs next to it. The one with Silvermane mm. Guard stationed there. It's started to be affected by corrosion recently, so it's been sealed off. Um, I do not listen to warning signs, and if there is a warning sign, I'm likely gonna not listen to it and just walk straight past. So the corrosion is inside the city. Well, that's a grave situation. Mm. Yes, we're mounting a resistance as we speak. I must leave now. I hope all goes well for you. Hmm. I hope all goes well for me too. Goal. Achievements. And Clemo. Yay. Tutorials. Store. Hmm. Yay. I don't have any more left. Damn it. Hmm. And options. Hmm. 
down. I wonder. Yeah. Confirm. I'm gonna wish. Why not? Useless. At least you have embers. Oh, another Asta. I think. Bows, hooray! That's a character I wanted. Cool. Yeah, pretty much useless. Don't have enough anymore. Hello. Oh, a working train. Oh no, I run it. Oh no, let it hit me. Can it hit me? I need to know. That person just popped into existence out of nowhere. Hola. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Can't even go inside them. It's useless. Blockhead. So man guys stares at you coldly, conveying a silent order to go away. I wanna go down though, I wanna go down. What the fuck? You are mine. Eater. Cool. You approach his mouse device and feel a slight warmth emanating. Bonk, 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 bonk. No warmth allowed. Characters. Don't care about her as much. I want him. Mm. Speed. Level. Yes. That's what. Yay. Hooray. Ooh, idioms. Every star is a miracle. Cool.
Dang. And party. Bless her with. Huh. The hunt. Rest assured, in your time of need, I will be there. And uh, bless Hata with. Huh? Yeah, Should you I think. require aid, you need only ask. I think that's what I'll do. Oh, I don't like that. Why are people suddenly coming into existence? And so close to the LOD distance is quite low. We got the news. Today's paper, hot off the press. A new ha, a new face interest in the newspaper. Other big shouts. Sorry you can't be clearing work hours, but if you want to buy a newspaper. Any big news lately? Hmm, that's a good question. Let me see. Well, this one. What did the man in black tell Mr. Bulber, the minister? That made him leave the party in a hurry. What happened? Hold on, check out this one. Six out of seven people fainted while eating hot pot. No harmful substance was found in the hot pot. How did this perfect crime happen? Well, you want to know? Of course. Are you messing with me? Huh? No. I'll tell you the answer right away, after you give me a few shield. Are you for real? Hey, take it easy, take it easy. It's just how the business works. I'm sure you understand. How's business? Business? <laughs> just enough to keep me from starving. Selling these in the streets is hard work. Would be nice if you could contribute a little to my profits. Then I may be able to afford something to eat. To eat something different for once. What do you think? You get the news, I get a good meal. It's a win-win. A good deal, right? I'll leave you to your work. Breaking news. Read all about it. Yes, please. Bonk. 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 Bye. Perfect. Whatever it's made of, it can't be ice. Yeah. I guess you're right. It's actually pretty warm in the city. Uh, hey, what's with all the children over there? Should we go and take a look? Hmm. Yeah, that looks cool. Yeah, that would be the thumbnail. I'm turning the voice back up. Not 100% though. My seven would do. I think. Children! Are you the children I want to murder? Listen to children. So let me introduce myself. I'm the intelligence officer for the Silvermane Guards, and a temporary guide for the A Journey Through Bellabog's History Program. My uh -oh. name is Pelagea Sergeyevna, but you can call me Pela. Yes, Miss Pela. Pelagea Sergeyevna. Perhaps the grown-ups among us could remain silent. This is a children's program. <laughs> okay, guys. 
Take a look over here. This is Everwinter Monument. It was erected to commemorate the mighty architects. The architects are followers of the Eon Clipod. It was they that foresaw crisis, built up our walls, and established Balabog, preserving the spark of human civilization. Even cool. today, they are still tending to the city. Everwinter Monument is made up of two parts. A gear that symbolizes knowledge and industrial strength, and huge ice crystals that symbolize the eternal breeze. These two symbols are bound together, the gear restricting the ice. It represents the unyielding hmm. spirit of the architects in the face of nature's barbarity. Any questions? Hmm. Hello. Any questions? How did the eternal breeze occur? That's a question for the scientific research division. Though they may not be able to give you a definitive answer. Hmm. The eternal breeze is no ordinary natural disaster. Meteorological records from hundreds of years ago cannot explain the cause. To put it simply, it's a problem that has plagued Bellabog scientists for centuries. Oh. Who are the architects? The architects are followers of the Ian Clopat. It was they that foresaw the crisis, built up our walls, and established Bellabog, preserving the spark of human civilization. Or, to put it another way, the architects are Bellabog's founders and saviors. Even today, they are still tending to the city. Cool. What are those blue crest you blue crystals? You mean what are they made of? It's Geomero that's undergone a change in color. The color of Geomero is related to the environmental temperature during its refinement. Cool. The monument is made up of two hmm. parts. A gear that symbolizes knowledge and industrial strength, and huge ice crystals that symbolize cool. the eternal breeze. These two symbols are bound together, the gear restricting the ice. It represents the unyielding spirit of the architects mm. in the face of nature's barbaric. Cool. And what about you guys? Bye. Take your time. We're not in a rush. Cool. You know Bye. Listen. Everyone knows about the line stains encounter. Yep, yep, and the line stains. I also heard that the girlfriends. Well, wow, there's so much going on here. All I can say is knowing too much can be a mistake. Huh? What? What are you guys talking about? Do 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 do. Mail. There's nothing special about the mailbox, but you feel something's wrong. You look at it carefully again. And there's a white letter hidden in the shadow below. Carefully hidden, hidden in its shadow. Put it in the mailbox. You pick up the letter and put it in the mailbox. From deep in your heart, you feel a noble existence. Smile, wink, and give you a thumbs up. <laughs> like a soldier trying to a gauge, an explosion radius, kaboom! <laughs> Praise of high morals. <laughs> you walk around the mailbox inspecting it, but don't find any more letters. I got a fucking item. I got. Oh, this is cool. These are all so cool. We love cool things. The cooler the things, the better the things we do with them. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Makes sense how I use a Dian Yang thing on Dian Yang. Have you heard of the Rightful Right Society? Rightful Right Society? I read in a magazine that once a bailable, bailable has a rightful, he rightful right society. The members of this rightful whatever society help people skip work. Oh no, I mean they help people temporarily escape the bonds of family and duty. Does such an organization really exist? This Bellabog is really one messed up place. Sounds kinda interesting, so how does it one go about signing up? The magazine doesn't say, just says that the editor is also very curious. Then why do you bring it up? I knew it, everything that comes out out of your mouth is nonsense. <laughs> cool. Wee. Jepard mentioned. The one contaminated by the Fragmentum, right? Yes. I can't believe how close it is to the city center. Yes. If they hadn't identified it, I bet all the shops and hotels in the vicinity would have had to close down by now. Yeah. True. Move back. This is your final warning. Huh. What? But my proof of property is inside. I don't have any... Uh. The Fragmentum has already corroded this block. You can make a property retrieval request to the Architects, but only Silvermane guards are permitted to enter here. <laughs> I can't believe Fragmentum corrosion has spread into the city. No wonder there are so many soldiers stationed there. Yeah. Can soldiers really hold back the Fragmentum? As long as the Stellaron is active, the corrosion will continue to spread. Oh, no. That is not a good thing at all. But it is cool. The soldiers can only periodically clear the fragmentum of monsters. But the monsters will continue to emerge and multiply. Oh, fuck no. Please try to understand, sir. Backwater Pass has become very dangerous. We're just here for your safety. Safety? If I can't get my proof of property, it doesn't matter how safe I am. Out of my way. Let me pass. Hmm. I want to go that way. Can I go? Can I go? No. But considering means I can go there eventually. Bonk, 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 bonk. Hello. Pass. I'm not afraid to die. I've lost everything. Everything. Is he homeless temporarily? Silger. Stand back. This area is off limits. Only Silvermane guards are permitted to enter here. Stupid. Yeah. Are you guys able to control the situation? This area has only recently been corroded, so monsters are few and far between. Please, have faith in the gods. Hmm. If it weren't for most of our forces being deployed to the front line, situations like this wouldn't amount to anything. We can't even go on the offensive. Oh. What's down there? It used to be a transport hub, but it's been closed down. Monsters. Must be a this, this must be our job. This is our duty as Silvermane Guards. We are responsible for the safety of the citizenry. Duty is duty. We trust in the higher ups. Don't worry about our compatriots below ground. They must be mm. That's enough. The Guardian has strictly forbidden discussion of underworld affairs. I want to go there now. Right. I'm such a hot headed. I'll zip it. Good. 
I don't have any luck questions. This is a live situation. Mm. Whilst we need to look busy. Go. Cool. Another mailbox. The mailbox opens this black belt to you like a baby waiting to be fed. Like a baby. But you want to know what that model thing I got was? Cool. Hmm. What the hell is even Trailblaze power in the first place? I had three. In this grand... In this grand universe, moral standards are made materialized into physical form. Thumbs up approvals aren't a rare sight to behold. What matters is that you are recognized. Gewel. Trash bin. Trash can. Not remarkable in any way. You've been staring at it for quite a while, but it's just an ordinary trash can. Now, what do you want to do? You'll try to hold back the egg to open it. As you continue staring at the trash cans, they seem to turn before your very eyes. The edges are no longer rusty. The dance has moved over. From under the lid comes a faint golden glow, sweet and alluring. For a moment, the trash cans turn into treasure chests. And it's happening again. You take a deep breath and open the lid. It's empty. Wait, you reach deeper into the trash can. And there's a piece of iron scrap on the bottom. Your hard work paid off. You finally found the treasure. You look back at your companions and see their complicated expressions. You don't need to explain. I get it. The urge for you is too great for you to resist. There's no turning back once you've walked down this path. Trash can! <laughs> I actually got a reward for that. <laughs> okay. Where do I find the trash can? Remember that hunger is still a real problem. Okay. Where's the trash can? I need to know. Where is the trash can? Oh cool. That's that. Path of destruction. Trash can. A pretty postcard is lying in the trash can. It reads, Friend, you've crossed the line. This isn't something you shouldn't have touched. Signed the garbage king. 
There is a coin clue to the back of the postcard. Seems like this king understands that you need to tip someone if you want them to pass on a message. Seems like you got yourself a real competitor when it comes to rooting through trash cans. Why would he call himself Garbage King? Isn't he embarrassed? Trash can, you haven't missed anything. Nothing worth looking at in this trash can. A trash can, don't get close without courage. A bell about trash can, a great place to hide something. It's just a trash can. Okay, it's repeating now. Rewards. Okay. Let's go out here. That's already teleportable. Come around and have a look. Bins. I'll do that next time. Yeah. He said you can sometimes catch an outdoor performance. Sometimes being the operative word. Oh, darn. I wanted to see one. Hmm. Oh, I'd been wondering. You see that heater over there? Why do they keep it outdoors? Hmm. The city is so weird. To keep it warm. Normally you'd want a heater inside a building, right? Hmm. Maybe there's a... Maybe this is how they repel the eternal freeze. If so, I'm not sure mighty is the right word for these architects. Hmm. Tiny heaters are no use against the Stellaron disaster. Hmm. <laughs> you guys sure have a lot to say about that broken heater. Hmm. Oh, wow, she's cool. No. Broken. Yep, touch it and find out. Ice cold. I was just about to fix it up. Hmm. Okay. I forgot to introduce myself. The name's Serval. I'm the owner of this workshop. Yay. If you got any broken equipment lying around, you can always come find me. Though I can't guarantee I'll be interested in fixing it. Okay. Oh, uh, we're okay. I was just curious about the heater. Yeah. Curious? About the heater? It's just a standard Geomero radiator. You can find them anywhere in the administrative district. Cool. Standing outside broken machines. Standing broken machines outside I don't work topic is bad advertising. Huh? What's wrong with that? Everyone around here knows the way I work. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, I figured it out. I heard a loudmouth guard say that a group of outsiders had met with Cocolia. Hmm. You must be them? Yes. What an honor. Where are my manners? We can talk about heaters all day if you like. Let's have a chat. Okay. All right. I suppose that will be the end of this video. See you next time, humans.